Hi everyone. Right, I hope you can see this. Um, like I said, Julie and I and Ray, we went, we went to uh, buy some miniatures. And last year I bought this one and it's called Pumpkin House. Now the sun's shining, I can't see a blooming thing. But this is the one I bought last year. It's in a kit form, like this. And then my son, uh, that's Billy Man Jamie Lee's dad, put it together for me. Um, and I bought another two or three that he's going, well, Ray bought me one as well. I bought a churchyard, a graveyard, and a gateway to the graveyard, um, which he's also going to make up for me. And it's got the windows in, the acetate windows and that. Um, it has actually got a stairway in here, which you can see there. I'm not sure I can bring that up for you to see. Um, but I'm going to be decorating that one up because it is, you know, like 15th century cottage. So it's called Pumpkin Cottage. Now, when I went, I got this last year, um, but then this year when I went, I bought the plinth and the fencing that goes with it. Um... That just like kind of like goes on there, and then you fix it all up, and the gate goes, uh, fencing goes with it as well. So that's for that little cottage. But while I'm here, I'm just going to show you some little bits and pieces. Now I did manage to find some small beading. So um, not that it'll be on that one. I don't think. I don't think I need it on that one. Although I might use it as um, no, too many ridges in it, um, because that scale is. Now, let me just tell you, it's 1 48th of a scale, uh, which is tiny, tiny. The next one, um, I think, is the 1 6th or the 1 12th or something like that. Anyway, but um, I bought some beading ready for the next one that I do, which is a bigger house than that. Now, I've also got some of this, which is like a rubber matting that I could use on the floor if I chose to, or the chimney or whatever, but I found that too big for this scale. So that'll go on for the other scales as well. But this one I did think would work. I managed to get, oh Julie gave me some of these if I wanted to split it and do the wood, the wooden floor, which I'm going to do that with that little house because it won't take much to do that. And that's just strips of um, hardwood, hardwood flooring and um, it's got like a glue at the back so you can heat that. Uh, and then just glue it straight down onto the deck. But that'll have to be cut into tiniest three strips out of that for that type of house, for that size. The other thing we got um, was glasses. <laughs> I'm going to say you need glasses to see it. Um, I can make them, but they were just there and they were cheap enough, so I just bought a couple of pair of glasses, one uh, black and one in gold. But uh, we can make those, and I've shown you how to make those anyway. Um, they were just there and I couldn't be bothered making another couple of pairs. Now, I went into uh, Tesco's, was it Tesco's? No, co-op yesterday. And I picked these up. Besides the uh, tub that can be used. Um, these are the steak skewers. Now, you know, they've got rare, medium, rare, medium and all that on them. But I wasn't thinking of that sort of thing. When I'm coming to do my um, fairy uh, village I'll be able to cover these with a paste or something like that and then do my own We can chop them off there and we can add them like a little plaque somewhere or even add a stick off that way Just to make it and make them fun and funky So you get quite a few in there. So I thought that was a good idea to alter And that's from uh, the co-op I did um, For the other miniature house not this one some small leaves um, and I brought some in that I needed for a project of my own. So they're just different coloured ones and that. That's that. Now I do have, a, uh, I have personally a very, very good selection of feathers. Cause I use them a lot and people that know me have uh, seen quite a good selection of feathers that I actually carry. 
when I say carry I mean I have in my personal collection and these I always have um, they're beautiful beautiful feathers don't ask me what bird they're from I don't know but there you go I just love them because they're handy to have when you're making a flower in a project um, and you never know what you can use them for I mean those cut down slightly um, to using a miniature on a miniature chair like a wizard's chair what do you think Billy May? not a wizard's chair, fairy chair she stood in front of the fan, getting really cool. I tell you what you can do is she shut over the road. Uh, do you want to go get a drink from over the road, a cold one? Yes, one. The Joe's. Mm. Yeah, let me just give you some pennies, love. And go get us both a nice cold drink. Mind that road. Do you want a cup? No, I don't want anything fizzy. I don't drink fizzy pop. When have you ever known me drink something fizzy? Bottle of water. No, uh, Oasis, do you have anything still? Does fresh orange? Well, yeah, we'll just be careful. There you go, darling. Get yourself what you need. Okay. Uh, here's some more feathers, which are basically similar to these, only clumped together, and they're quite easy to do. You just need some garden tape, put them together, and make your own. They're easy to make, like that. And if, you know, let it give you an idea, use them up. You don't even have to use the full length. You could cut this tip off and just do those in a small one and make a fan. It's just think outside the box, okay? But uh, that's my collection of feathers. I love them because I use them a lot. Oops. Uh, somebody gifted me, very kindly gifted me some tiny birds. Now these birds are way too big for that one. Oh, sorry. Let me just, just excuse me. Sorry about that. Would you believe it? It's what? Uh, seven o'clock, eight o'clock. No, seven o'clock. And I'm just starting to film any rings. And for anybody who just joined us or doesn't know, that Raymond has a very, very uh, habit, uh, bad habit. <laughs> That he rings when I'm filming. I could be sat here all day and he doesn't touch the phone. I pick up the camera, he rings. And if anybody thinks I'm coming down with a cold, I am. He brought it in again. Anyway, but um, so they were gifted and I love them, but they are too big for that particular project. Now I have some leaves. These are the cream and the um, black, uh, green ones that um, are big enough to do a tree so I can cut them individually and make a tree which is what I will be doing so that's those now for my um, this is a plaque I'm going to be doing uh, with my logo on that my son designed for me um, and I will be doing that as a tutorial and then you will see that on my videos when I uh, whenever you open a video up so that's that now regarding oh, I got bought this lace isn't that beautiful just stunning very exquisite that one is so um, I've got some of that which is for a project uh, I'll show you that in a minute then I've got this when I'm doing the trees um, for the miniature one the miniature there I've got two different kinds of colours because you need a light and a dark one I've got the gravel for the path which is that I have some extra um, it's called uh, Pantile Roof Strips, um, you know, to do the edging. I want to do the edging of the house with the roof strips to make it fancy. And maybe the windowsills and things like that. Uh, some sand to mix in for the walls. So that's that. Um, and this is the uh, this is a landscaping pack that is for that particular building uh, for the plinth, and you get all your tiny little stones, your flagstones, and all of that. Your other sand, little bag of sand there, very very fine grain sand. Some more moss for the trees, some mixed moss for the trees, some mixed grass. So oh, you, yeah, that's fine, lovey. Uh, and different you got the different shades of grass there okay 
so that's all the things apart from this i'm just going to show you this one because i did pick up some more metal bits if i um see them i will buy them if i haven't got them i can get them and uh, now i'm doing miniatures i will be putting miniatures on the store but these I thought would be fantastic because they've got tiny leaves on and they're like a vine. Um, for that to be growing up the side, maybe, you know, up, um, I don't know, I could cut a piece off and put it there on the doorway, something like that, and colour it in. I did get those in case I wanted to do a bush of some sort with some more leaves, a couple more of those, some fancy bits if I need to decorate anything inside the house, a couple of the shells to do the fairy. Uh, that's one of them is going to be a fairy bird bath so the shell will be all coloured you won't see them brass at all um, some little tiny locks for the doors uh, or a trunk or something made into a little bird or I don't know something in the garden we've got that little tray that can be made into something some really tiny dishes that will be all grunged up a little serving plate now that's a little mirror, look, I got a couple of those, I just thought they were cute, but they're too big for that. Um, just some little tiny frames to go inside, a little fancy one and a plain one, and another one. Um, and these to make candlesticks, little bead caps. So yeah, quite a good collection of those sort of things. So like I say, I'll pop this up on uh, now and then I'm going to be showing you... Um, I think the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to do the chimney and we'll start with the chimney because I'm going to um, what you call cladding put some cladding on it but I've got to make the cladding first make the I've got to make the stones to go on the uh, chimney I'm going to do that out of clay so that's it for now uh, say goodbye my dear goodbye <laughs> you're mad we work she is she's roasting it's boiling here for anybody who hasn't got good weather we have you can have it if you want it <laughs> i'd rather have a bit of breeze Same. i'd rather have a bit of rain i know a snow even snow definitely snow yeah. and go play out in snow no school as well Ooh, that's a good idea isn't it <laughs> yeah so there you go and uh, i will be back shortly uh with something if i can get a chance to do it tonight i will do if not um, I'll get a tutorial in tomorrow starting with the chimney on the new house. Thanks for watching, take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Say goodbye. Good bye bye for now. Good bye bye for now. Yeah. <laughs>